giving me the strength na makatayo po ngayon dito. So let's all stand up and open our Bibles in the book of Second uh, Chronicles chapter 1, <coughs> verses 7 to 12. Let us read this together. Second Chronicles chapter 1, verse, verses 7 to 12. Ready? Begin. In that night did God appear unto Solomon and said unto him, As what I shall give thee. Should great mercy unto David, my father, and has made me to reign in his stead. Now, O Lord God, let my promise unto David, my father, be established. For thou hast made me king over a people, like the dust of the earth in the multitude. Give me now wisdom and knowledge, that I may go out and come it before these people. For who can judge this thy people? This is so great. And God said to Solomon, Because this was in thine heart, and thou hast not as riches, wealth, or honor, nor the life of thine enemies, neither yet has as long life, but has as wisdom and knowledge for thyself, that thou mayest judge my people, over whom I have made thee king. Wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee, and I will give thee riches and wealth, and honor, such as none of the kings have had that have been before thee, neither shall there any after thee have the like. Let's come to God in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for giving us this time. Thank you for the word, Lord. Thank you for the wisdom that you will give us. I hope that this um, short devotion will be uh, a blessing to everyone, Lord. Bless every one of us here. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You all may be seated. All right, so um, in uh, Second Chronicles chapter 1, verse Verses 7 to 12, uh, the verse 7 there is, God appeared unto, unto Solomon and uh, asked him, what shall I give thee? And we all know the story about this. And uh, Solomon was a king instead of his father, David. And that is found in verse number 8. Solomon became a king instead of his father. And um, to tell about Solomon, he was a young Man, or he was a young king, and he was uh, reigned, or he reigned after the death, or the death of his father, King David. And if I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, King David died at the age of um, seventy, and uh, Solomon started to reign at the age of twenty. So that's why he is one of the young king. So as we have read the verses in verses number seven to twelve, I, I can see here that desire the uh, king solomon's or solomon's desire now talking about our desire we have our own different desires in life so uh the the question is is that desire is for god or for ourselves now letting us know here in uh, the verses we have that we have read because of solomon's desire to do his job or to do his new responsibility he desired wisdom he desired wisdom to be a good leader right so he pleased god and uh, asked for discernment for discernment to govern his people and uh, we all know in verse number 12 that god granted solomon's desire or wish and gave him much he did not ask for and what a great encouragement dito sa verse 12 na binasa natin so although a natural man's desires are usually uh, selfish. So one wonders what a Christian could uh, achieve or, or gain if he had an other's mentality. So we all know that King Solomon was a chosen king. And uh, yes, he was a chosen king, but he was not a commoner or a common person as what we are, as, as uh, most of us are. So, but, is the, but it is really the heart that God sees or hears. So, God was pleased by or with uh, Solomon's, uh, with, with the life or with what he heard about or what he saw about Solomon. So, um, what about us as Christians? We, we used to have so many desires in our lives. Like, for example, we have a new term at school. We desire to have a higher salary. But the question is, 
why do we desire that and why do we is it is it really i mean it is is it really important or do we desire that for our own selves or for the glory of god so we're doing things somehow or sometimes like just to make us feel good we have these things i want new things i want to buy a new cell phone i want to buy so many material things but are these things could help you to grow and to glorify God sa ating buhay. So I, as I have uh, read this uh, passage, I was really inspired by the life of Solomon. And he was that young. He started to reign at the young age. So in this text, the Bible tells us more about meeting the needs of others than it is about our getting for our Selves. So remember that God has no real need of us or what we can do with what He has created for us. But God loves us so much because He gave, or we were created, or we are created by His own image or with His own image. Jesus could have escaped the cruel cross, but He gave His life to us so that we could live eternally. So another thing is for Moses. Moses could have, could have gone through or could have gone his own way or his own direction, but he followed God. He followed and he obeyed God and continued to lead the Hebrews despite of their what? Despite of their complaining, despite of their lack of faith, despite of their disobedience and other sins. So now, Christians, if we want our lives to be used or to be blessed by God, we should have that, or we should all have that a willing heart, or a, we should be a willing servant to our king or to the king of the universe, rather than to be a slave of our own lust. We may not be a king, we may not be a king as was Solomon, but we always remember that we have, or we have the same God who will lead us and use our lives. And that is already a blessing. And that blessing, I could say, na longer lasting or long lasting blessing sa ating buhay. Because that, uh, that blessing is a long-lasting blessing because there, there is no other or any other treasures that we can find or that we, we found in this earth. So let me end here in James, number, uh, James chapter 4, verse 3. Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss and that ye may consume it upon your lust. So, brothers and sisters in the Lord, let us all lay up treasures in heaven. Thank you and God bless. May we call on our special number? Who?